Sairam students, welcome once again. In this session of English literature, we are going to continue with the poem Rain on the Roof, written by Coates Kinney. In the earlier lecture, we learnt about the poet and also the central idea of the poem. We also learnt the first two stanzas of the poem. Let me give you a quick recapitulation of what we learnt in the previous lecture. The poem Rain on the Roof talks about the poet's varied reactions to the sound of raindrops falling on the roof of his house. He says that the raindrops at night are like tears shed by the sad dark night. He loves to lie in bed and hear rain falling on the roof of his room because it gets back sweet memories of the past. He says that the sound of raindrops helps him fall asleep and gives him sweet dreams. And the dreams are about? About his past. He has memories of his loving mother who would put them to sleep. So here in the initial stanzas, the poet describes the atmosphere. He says that the raindrops at night, they are like tears that are shed by the sad dark night. However, he also says that he loves to lie on his bed in his cottage chamber and hear rain falling on the roof of his room. And why he loves that? Because it takes him back to the sweet memories of the past. And his memories, you know, his memories make him happy because he remembers his loving mother who used to put him to sleep. Now, let's see the next stanza. Now, in memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel her fond look on me as I list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain. So here, certain words that we have come across and we need to understand the meaning. The word air refers to an old, it's an old poetic word for before. Okay, dawn refers to daybreak. I'm sure students you're having a paper and pen and uh, you're writing down the word meaning of the difficult words. Dawn refers to daybreak. List means, it's an, uh, it, it means listen. It's an old poetic word. Refrain. Refrain means a repeated part of a song or a poem. But here, it means the sound of the rain. Moving ahead, let me explain this stanza to you. In this stanza, the poet introduces his mother. What he says? He says that he is dreaming of his mother. You know, when he lies on his bed in his cottage chamber, he is dreaming about his mother. As he had told in the previous stanza, that rain brings memories of the past. It is the memory of his mother who is no longer alive. In the past, he recollects that his mother used to love him a lot. She used to consider him a darling and she would let him sleep till daybreak and have sweet dreams. So all these things he remembers. 
the poet can still feel that his mother is looking at him and when he feels this when he listens to the song that is made by the raindrops falling on the rooftop of his room so the sound of the rain makes him correlate his past with his present All right so it gets back the it gets back the the sweet memories of his mother and that is why the poet is moved by the sound of the raindrops on the shingles of his room he is touched by the sound of the raindrops whenever he hears the sound it brings back memories of the past and he is reminded of his mother okay so here we come to an end of this poem i hope students you understood the poem and also the new words that we came across now there are certain useful expressions used in the poem like the first one starry spears starry spears refers to an area in the sky where stars appear in a group water bliss water bliss refers to a pleasing moment that the poet is unable to forget a thousand dreamy fancies into busy starting now this refers to the poet in you know, the poetry remembers his past and finds himself lost in imagination so that's when he uses this expression a thousand dreamy fancies when the poet finds himself lost in imagination then another expression used in the poem a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof it means a chain of memories that visit the poet's mind during the rainy season darling dreamers it refers to children who love and remember their mother equally like the poet right so these are the important or the useful expressions used in the poem now the next that we need to learn is rhyme scheme now let us see what is the rhyme scheme for this poem for the first stanza okay for the uh, i mean that's followed for the next for the next stanzas also it's the same so we'll do the first stanza when the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently wipes in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead so the rhyme scheme over here is a that is hover we mark as a spears we mark it as b darkness we mark it as c then tears okay hover spear darkness tears so here a b c b because spears and tears are rhyming so we'll write b here hover a spears b darkness c tears b again pillow what will it be yes it will be d and then next after pillow it's bed see we are looking at the last word of the stanza of this e of each line of the stanza of your uh, the next word is pillow pillow will be e next bed bed will be what will be bed bed will be e pillow will be d bed will be e the next is patter patter will be f because we haven't found any rhyming word to this to this pattern f the next is overhead overhead will be e 
Why? Because we have bed as E and bed is a rhyming word for overhead. Bed, overhead. Bed, head. Okay. So, the rhyming, the rhyme scheme for this poem is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Alright. So, now let's move ahead. Poetic devices. Poetic devices for the poem. The first one is alliteration. The repetition of the first consonant sound in neighboring words is known as alliteration. Now, uh, this, you know, it, it connects the lines and keeps the sonnet flowing. An example in the poem, when the humid shadows hover. So, repetition of the sound H. Overall, the starry spears. Repetition of sound S. Press the pillow. Repetition of sound P. Cottage chamber bed. Repetition of sound C. Lie listening. Repetition of sound L. So these are the examples of alliteration in the poem. Moving ahead, the next poetic device is imagery. Now imagery is a kind of, uh, you know, it is used when the poet expresses vivid and he uses expressive language to evoke pictures or feelings in the minds of the reader, readers. Okay, so imagery is specially used when the poet wants to use vivid and expressive language so that he, uh, re he evokes pictures or... Now, example for imagery is melancholy darkness. Rainy tears, starry spears. So the poet wants us to imagine or you know feel that these pictures actually exist. Okay, he wants us to uh, you know evoke these pictures or feelings in our mind. The next poetic device used in the poem is repetition. Repetition in poetry is multiple uses of a word, phrase sound or stanza. So repetition it is used in multiple uses of a phrase, word, sound or a stanza so that to create a better poetic effect. Example, listening to the patter. Listen to the patter. Again okay, line number 7 and line number 15. So these are the poetic devices used in the poem The Rain on the, rain on the Roof. Now, what message do we get from this poem? The poem conveys the message that rain has therapeutic and healing powers. Okay, it will take away all our worries and it will heal us. And it forms, a la and forms lasting memories in the human mind of the sights, sound, fragrances and our experience. So basically the poet conveys the message that rain has healing powers and it forms lasting memories in our minds. Okay, so it helps us to recollect and remember all our experiences. And the poet has also said that this memories in the human mind of the sights, sound, fragrances and experiences are all associated with it. Especially those involving our loved ones. Rain refreshes and rejuvenates us and forces us to recollect and relive our past memories. So what does rain do? It refreshes us and it helps us to recollect and relive our past memories. So it's a very beautiful message that is conveyed by the poet Coat Skinny. Now, what are the value points that we come to know from this poem? Number one, the poet is resting on his bed. Suddenly, he hears the sound of clouds and quietness all around disappears. The rain starts. 
all of a sudden. The tin roof of his cottage creates the beautiful sound of raindrops. The sound of rain echoes in the heart of the poet and he remembers a good number of things. Some of his memories are sweet and some are sad. The poet receives the sound of rain as a bliss. He remembers his childhood and sweet love received from his mother. So, these are the value points of the poem. Now, we come to an end of this lecture. Thank you so much. Take care.